Hey, this is Dave with the Shepherd School, and today what we're going to do is we're going to turn pork belly into bacon, right? And we have canned bacon before, but that was store-bought bacon. This is bacon that we've done um, ourselves, right? And so to start, went down to the uh, butcher shop and bought me some pork belly. And this pork belly's got the skin on it. Now, some instructions that you read tell you to do it with the skin on. However, I've talked to some... Uh, uh, people that have done this a lot and they say that taking the skin off gives you two things. Number one, when it cures, it cures flatter. And number two, you get to keep the, the skin to make uh, uh, cracklings, right? And, you know, uh, pork rind. So we're going to do that too. But today what we're just going to do is do bacon. Okay? Now, we've got some nitrate salt and we've got some sugar and we've got some culture uh, kosher salt, we're going to mix all that together to make our, uh, our rub. Alright, when the pioneers made bacon, they uh, typically just used salt and sugar. You know, the salt uh, pulled the moisture out, thereby inhibiting bacterial growth. There wasn't enough moisture. And the salt also inhibited uh, bacterial growth kind of the same way, because it, it kind of um, sucked up some of the moisture. Well, that worked, but they used a whole lot more salt than we use today and they typically smoked their meat for a lot longer and it had more of a rind on it and, and kind of typically wasted some of the meat. Today's cures use less salt but they also added nitrates, the pink salt. Now nitrates are toxic and so you don't want to overdo it but you can't make bacon nowadays without using the nitrates because the nitrates inhibit the um, growth of botulism and so you don't get the botulism toxins because the bacon when you're smoking it is the perfect temperature for the uh, botulism and so a typical cure is going to be one pound of kosher salt some sort of non iodized salt eight ounces of sugar and two ounces of pink salt uh, however I had to do some tweaking with my ratios because my box of salt is four pounds and the cure that was easiest for me to get without having to go online and order some comes in uh, four ounce bags. So if I use two four ounce bags for uh, eight ounces of pink salt, that's the same ratio that will allow me to use this four pound box of uh, non iodized salt. And so all I have to do now is just tweak the amount of sugar. This is 16 ounces of sugar. I'm going to add another 16 ounces of sugar for 32 ounces of sugar. And you're right, that is a lot of sugar, that is a lot of salt, but this is for about 200 pounds of meat. So I'm going to be using this cure for a significant amount of time. And whatever I have left over today, I'm going to put in canning jars and keep in a uh, nice moisture free area. Okay. Now you know why they call it pink salt. It's pink, so people know that it's got the nitrates. And I'm probably only going to have to use about half a cup of this mixture with the amount of um, pork belly that I have. Okay, So we're just going to stir this up real good until it's all a nice even pink color. Alright, here's my pork belly. It's about two dollars a pound. Okay, and uh, it's got some skin on there. And I'm just going to trim the skin off and uh, save it. Okay. Got a big skinless hunk here. All right, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim it up for my bags because I'm going to put them in these bags to uh, cure. All right, so and here's some of my skin is working one piece at a time. You 
you want to crust on a whole lot of this salt. And we'll get it in every little crevice there. Okay. Now what's going to happen is the salt and the sugar are going to pull the moisture out of the bacon. Okay. And so what I'm going to do. is I'm going to lay this in the fridge for about at least five days, but probably a little more than that, seven days or so. And then every two days, I'm going to flip it around to let the, uh, the brine kind of move to, to expose more air or more area to the salt, okay? And this is going to pull a lot of water out, so I'm going to put another bag around it, and I'm going to put it in a uh, bowl in the fridge okay we'll come back you know anywhere five to seven days and then we'll kick up the smoker okay okay so it's been a little over seven days i've uh, been about uh, ten days actually and here is my pork belly you see it's a lot tougher uh, basically right now it is salt pork as we mentioned in the uh, salt pork video and what I'm going to do to turn this into bacon is I'm going to very, very thoroughly rinse the salt off because this is very, very salty. I'm going to rinse all the salt off and then I'm going to put it on these racks in the fridge for 24 hours till we get what's called a pellicle, which is kind of a um, membrane kind of tackiness on the outside which is going to suck up the smoke all right so i'm just going to rinse off rinse it all off and uh, put it on the sheets and show you what all of it looks like before we put it back in the fridge all right there it is after we rinsed it off okay and uh, it's on the rack got all the little gritty salt off and here's just some of the juices most of it uh, um, came out of the ziploc bags in the sink but i kept a little bit just for you to see that dark salty uh, water okay so here we go and uh, this one we're going to cook up tonight as salt pork but the rest of this is going to get smoked as bacon all right so tomorrow we have to we get the pellicle on the bacon on the uh, salt pork we'll uh, come back and show you how to smoke it and turn it into good tasty bacon all right we were going to use my uh, trash can smoker but uh, i went ahead and bought this with with the bonus check from work. So got some nice uh, uh, charcoal going, got some apple wood chips with some red wine uh, to keep it from burning. I'm going to throw it in the smoke chamber and then shut that up and let it go into the uh, main part of the grill. And we're just going to put the uh, bacon on the top rack to, uh, to smoke. We're not trying to cook it and we're not trying to smoke it all the way through. So we're going to leave it for about an hour and a half okay um, so there it is and we'll uh, come back later all right let's have a close-up of the uh, temperature gauge you see we want to keep it really low that's probably just a little bit too hot we want to keep it you know around 150 degrees or, or less all right so it's been a couple hours let's open it up you see that it's uh, got that nice red uh, smoky um, texture all right and uh, it smells good, feels good, looks good. And we don't want to go ahead and cut this. We want to chill it first because if we cut it now, all that oil and grease is going to uh, come out. So we're going to put it back on the racks and put it back in the fridge until it uh, um, firms up, cools down. And there it is on the rack. You can, uh, you can see that it's changed color and it's, and it's really soaked in the smoke. 
As soon as it cooled down, I had to try it out, so we sliced it. It's kind of thick cut, which is nice, but I wanted a little thinner. I just couldn't with my slicer. So tell me what you think. I like it a lot. Well, there you go. Nice uh, homemade bacon, and I appreciate you watching. Thank you.